How's it going everybody? This is Vita Bush. Today, I'm going to show you how to calculate the mortgage payment based on the loan terms, such as the principal borrowing amount, the interest rate, and the loan length. Calculating a mortgage payment is kind of tricky if you just think about it, because every single month when you pay into it, the principal amount reduces, so you end up paying a little bit less interest every single time. And at the same time, you pay a little bit more principal. However, to calculate the monthly payment, and you want equal monthly payments too, throughout the whole term of your loan, then that gets a little tricky. How the heck do you do it? Do you actually write out a spreadsheet and just do it line by line for 360 lines? There's actually a formula for this and I show it right here. I'll share a spreadsheet down in the video description below where it'll actually calculate it line by line and it would also give you the monthly payment based on this equation and you can see that they're actually the same thing. If you just look at this equation, it might be a little bit hard to decipher. So my purpose here is to just explain to you how this works so you can actually look at the equation and plug in the right numbers yourself. For example, let's say you have a $200,000 loan, you have a 4% APR, you have a 30 year fixed rate loan. Now the interest on a mortgage payment actually does not compound every single day nor continuously. It compounds every single month. So once you borrow the loan, they calculate how much interest you earn one month later and then they add it to your principal. Then they take out your payment which includes the interest and a little bit of the principal. The thing to keep in mind here is that 4% APR is 4% over one year. In order to get the monthly interest that you have to pay, you divide that by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. Otherwise, you don't want to pay 4% every single month, right? So if you have 200K, you don't want to pay $8,000 every single month in terms of interest. So you divide this down by 12. So R in this equation is actually the interest rate, the big R, divided by 12. Now, because you have a 30-year mortgage, you're actually going to compound this 30 times 12 times. And here, 30 times 12 is 360. So we can plug all this in and it'll actually calculate your monthly equal payments over the life of the loan. So P is the 200K, and then you multiply it by little r, which is 4% divided by 12. So it's really 0 0.04 divided by 12. It's not 4 divided by 12. Because 4 is a percentage, that's why you use 0.04. And then all of this over 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus r. r here is 0.04 divided by 12. And then all of this to the exponent of n, which is 30 times 12, or which is 360. When you work out this equation in some calculator or something, then it will give you the proper amount. Where they actually got this equation is a little bit complex because there's like a mathematical proof here. So I hope this equation is good enough for you, not that you need a mathematical proof. If you want to look deeper into it and just kind of play around with maybe prepayments and stuff, I did make a spreadsheet. You can go and download it in the video description below or through my Dropbox and you can grab that spreadsheet and then you can change the principal amount of your loan, change your APR that you get, change the how many year uh, mortgage that you did you end up getting then you can calculate your actual monthly payment. One thing I wanna quickly mention is that whenever you refinance, if let's say you had a 30 year loan and you were paying for several years already and then all of a sudden you refinance to the same exact interest rate and yet it's 30 years again, you essentially extended the length of your loan right? because you essentially extended it for two extra years. That is why if you refinance with the same exact term, your mortgage payment would go a little bit lower because you're just kind of dragging things out a little bit longer. So I hope this helps you calculate your own equal monthly payment on a mortgage. In the spreadsheet, it will also show you accumulated interest payments that you paid and also accumulated principal payments. This is usually an eye opener because if you look at actually how much interest you pay, even at 4% throughout a 30 year loan, you actually pay as much interest in as the principal amount. So let's say $200,000 is the principal that you paid in. By the time you end up paying the loan in full, you pay another $200,000 of interest. This is only if you drag it out for 30 years. So a lot of people would try to pay early so that they would reduce their interest uh, that they pay on their mortgage. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if this was helpful for you. If you're interested in supporting this channel, don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I forgot to mention that I just finished a steamed fish cooking video. I'll leave a link to that video over here if you're interested. It's actually on a different channel now. It's on a cooking channel. So check it out if you're interested.